Who is George Floyd? My son asked me that um, yesterday. And at first I was like thinking in my mind, that name sounds so familiar. And I was thinking, is it someone I had a conversation with this week? Is it, you know, I was racking my brain and then I remembered. And I looked at him and I said, Jordan, George Floyd is a man that was arrested for something that was nonviolent and in front, in public, on camera, in front of people, was murdered by police officers. And I said, George Floyd was a black man and the police officer that had him under arrest was a white man. And my son wanted to see the video and I had not watched the video yet, but he watched it and I wasn't watching. I could just hear. I could just hear um, the voice of this man begging for his life and begging for help. You could hear him suffering. And knowing that there was all these people around, including police officers who are there to protect us, knowing that no one could help him, no one would help him, and that if someone did want to help him, they probably would have been attacked by police. To be honest, I don't watch the news because I'm really sensitive and usually I feel really helpless and powerless. And this, this piece of news is so disturbing. It hurts so much that I don't want to believe it. And my initial reaction was to not pay attention to it because it hurt too much. And, and because I felt like, what can I do? There's nothing I can do. Like, I feel powerless. And, you know, and then I noticed that all of my black friends were hurting. And I realized that they don't feel safe. And it's not just that they don't feel safe. They don't feel like they're as important as white people that their lives are not as important. It doesn't... I asked myself, is this going to make a difference if I make a video about this? Is this really going to make any difference at all? But then um, I saw a post from, um, from someone that I know who who said that it does make a difference when white people speak up and even though I can't go back and I can't be there and I can't save George Floyd I can't be in that crowd and I swear I know that this is going to sound easy to say but I would have tried I would have tried to save him I would have I don't care if I would have gotten arrested I would have, you know, I would have wanted to jump in and have the police officer attack me because unfortunately, maybe somebody would have done something then. It's so enraging. I'm so enraged. I, it hurts. It really hurts. I don't even know if talking about this is going to make any difference. 
to show that this is affecting me, to show that this hurts me, to show that I cannot believe that we're still talking about whether or not black lives matter. How on earth have we evolved so much in so many ways, but not in this way? And I know that there's a lot of people who are making this a, a political thing. And I might sound ignorant or naive in so many ways here. I might be missing a lot of different kinds of points, but what I know is that in front of people, on camera, in public, a human was murdered by people who were trying who are supposed to be protecting them. And for some reason, black people feel less safe than white people. I'm saying for some reason, we all know why. This has got to stop. And this is, I don't understand why there is any question of these people being a danger to society. Of, of these police officers being a danger to society. They should be in jail right now, waiting a trial for murder. How is there a question or debate about this? So I don't know if, if this makes any difference, but I do want to say to my black brothers and sisters, my family, that I love you. And there's no words to express how sorry I am. That you guys have to experience this, witness this, feel these things that you're feeling, worry about the things that you have to worry about. I don't understand why there's any difference. I don't know if I should hope that there could be a change, but if this video could in some way, I don't know, bring comfort, understanding, then I guess it's not for nothing.